Hi, this is Melody of Mellow Farms. Thanks for joining me on week 10 of Sunday on Mellow Farms. Hey, we're on the cusp of Memorial Day, so have an awesome Memorial Day tomorrow. Um, what I wanted to show you today, and I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm up on a ladder trying to get a little elevation so you can see our chickens. Um, and what I wanted to talk about this week was uh, free-range chicken. And specifically because we answered something last Sunday, um, someone came up and asked when we were going to have chickens. And, you know, we said it was going to be three weeks. And the next question was, are the chickens free-range? And Lynn has become a little um, sensitive to that question because the term free range is, like a lot of other terms, been bastardized by industrial agriculture. And so I wanted to spend a few more minutes on free range, what that means to industrial agriculture, and more specifically, if you're a fan of Mellow Farms and, and a fan of our chicken, what it means to us. Um, most everyone has a printer at home or at least knows what an, an 11 and a half by 8 sheet piece of print paper looks like. Take one of those and fold a third of it back so it's more of a true square. That one third of an 8 and a half by 11 sheet is industry standard what if a chicken is outside of a cage and has that space. So if you think of a large tunnel and you're thinking about an adult chicken and you're thinking how many chickens can I put in an eight and a half by 10 sh uh, shed or industrial sheds I believe are 50 by 100, how many chickens I can put in a space of uh, eight and a half by uh, five and that is the industry standard of free range. It's not our standard of free range. So I wanted to show our free range standard to you. What we're looking at right now, the far mobile shelter, is 75 of our dinner chickens that will become dinner um, in three weeks. Right now it's siesta time. Everyone's back underneath the shelter for a little bit of shade. But you'll see that we've got mobile fencing that's a low-voltage electric fence so that predators stay out at night because that door stays open. Um, we have the water outside. There is a hanging feeder for our soy-free supplemental feed. Um, but you'll also notice that we're surrounded by large, luscious green grass. and. The shelter that the um, chickens have been in every evening, you'll see that the path to where they are now, the forage has been eaten down, um, but there's plenty of tall forage around it. Our standard of free range means what most people's interpretation of free range. Animals that have an opportunity to wander around and forage the way most of us would think free range means. Um, and this uh, mobile hoop shelter that we're looking in here is 75 more chickens that will come to market uh, in five weeks. The other thing to know about our chickens is their breed. These are the same chickens that you would buy in the grocery store by breed. They're called uh, Cornish Cross. Um, by uh, chicken standard, they're a fast-growing chicken, and the industry raises these indoors um, and brings them to market in five to six weeks. Um, five to six weeks means that uh, a little chick goes to dinner size very quickly and, as you can imagine, has all of the health problems that are associated with that, um, you know, adding on a lot of weight all at once. Um, our chickens uh, go to market 10 to 12 weeks uh, old, uh, so even though they're the same breed, they're much slower grow. They're much slower grow because the chickens do get more exercise. Um, you can see they go out, they're foraging uh, for bugs, they like to turn up soil, um, they get minerals that way, um, and <laughs> 
though they may be flightless, they do try to fly, and they have plenty of room to stretch out their wings um, and be chickens uh, rather than a commodity. So the big point of today's Mellow Farm series is speaking to free range, the difference between what the industry says free range is and what free range is in our reality. Chickens that are sheltered at night, um, they have shelter during the day. We try to plan their path around trees so as our um, season progresses and we do get the heat that you do in Michigan, um, we have shade areas and if we don't have shade areas, the back portion of these shelters folds down so we definitely get airflow um, and um, that even though we raise the same chicken that you have in market from an industry standpoint, the time to maturity is twice as long. That twice as long gives us a rare statistical number that the industry can't touch. Um, we lose one chicken in 150. We don't have heart attacks. We don't have leg dysplasia because the chicken's um, uh, skeletal structure is able to grow along with their girth so that they get good strong bones that can support their weight. Um, and um, that um, departure from the industry standard of losing a great number of their chickens to disease and to hip dysplasia and to heart attacks due to um, fast weight gain. Um, we have you know, a better um, farm perspective that we're not buying day-old chicks and overbuying them um, to plan for a huge amount of loss. We just don't have it. And the last thing that I'm going to close with is as you're watching these chickens wander around, one of the things that we enjoy, that I enjoy cooking with, and many of our customers enjoy, is the health benefits and um, the gelatin that's found in chicken feet uh, making stock. One thing about uh, chicken feet, when uh, chickens are raised indoors, even if they're out of a cage, they're way raised on litter and they're standing on their feces day in and day out. Um, it's not a very palatable sight from a foot perspective, and you really wouldn't want to put those in your precious stock. And um, it's kind of hard to think that they have health benefits when they have abscesses on them. One thing about raising chickens free range is those lovely little chicken feet are not sitting on acidic uh, poop all the time, so they're not going to be ulcerated. So when it does come time to become dinner, uh, those of you who like having chicken feet um, for stock, you're going to have some very healthy and good-looking chicken feet to choose from. So thanks for joining me again. Melody from Mellow Farms, and I'll close just spending a few more minutes looking at our lovely free-range dinner chickens. Have an awesome holiday, and until next week, have a great time. Talk to you later.